Hello. Hi. Good evening. How are you? I'm doing great. And how are you? I'm also fine. So feeling refreshed after taking a sleep or not? Yes. Yes. After taking a sleep and I'm feeling refreshed. And you? Yeah. I'm also feeling refreshed. Okay. Shall we start our session? So sure, sure. Okay. So what you had uh, in lunch? First of all, I would like to know. Oh. Uh, a simple rice today is a i ate veggies and dal rice okay okay so uh, you know on daily basis are you learning something new uh on a daily basis uh, sometimes i try to focus to learn something and sometimes uh, indirectly i learn something okay uh, so what i mean to say is like some people are in the habit of reading books on daily basis you now some people oh. read newspaper or uh, they just uh, oh, hang I out watch, mm -hmm. i watch news on youtube mm -hmm. uh, uh, those are english news mm -hmm. uh, and i actually i am not uh, fond of reading i try to build that mm -hmm. habit okay yeah. okay no worries okay so we'll do one activity what you have to do is uh, there is a one dialogue which i'm going to give you so you have to uh, say that dialogue in different expressions okay so nice. are you ready are you ready for this ah uh, yeah sure quite excited okay. yeah so the dialogue is uh, well done bravo well done bravo this is the dialogue okay so okay. first expression is angry expressions like if you have to say this uh, dialogue in ang angry mood how would you say that is well done bravo yeah oh <laughs> yeah. okay yeah uh, well done bravo it, it, do you think that this is an angry one uh, like i don't like to appreciate someone but i have to do yeah so see uh, what i mean to say is like you know when you talk when you do conversation when you put the right expressions right okay. then only you can convey your message clearly right so mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. if you have to do it in angry way you can well done bravo something like this okay <laughs> yeah. okay can okay. you try another expression yeah definitely okay. definitely so well done bravo is a like you know uh, should be uh, should be conveyed in a happy way right Uh, yeah. but if you have to say it in a, a sad mood how would you say uh, sad mood mm hi well done bravo yeah or you can also say well done bravo without yeah. smile yeah you can say without smile <laughs> yeah that's a great Good. thing okay so now <clears throat> my first question to you is like if you will ever get a chance to become or hang out with any cartoon character which cartoon character it would be uh, i want to hang out with um, cartoon character uh papai the sailor man papai okay could you please tell me little bit about that oh yeah papai the sailor man the who is a normal normal man who who works in a ship mm -hmm. and when like when bad people comes out or when bad people come out in mm -hmm. the cartoon or mm -hmm. in the situation he mm -hmm. he eats gas oceanic mm -hmm. gas and he get so power gas or get... spinach spinach isn't it spinach yeah yeah are you talking yeah, about popeye right popeye yeah yeah, yeah. popeye yeah he yeah. used to eat spinach right yeah yeah spinach mm -hmm. and, and also Mm -hmm. He get powered, so much powered. Okay, so you want to hang out with him, okay? Yes, yes. Okay, that's a great thing. Okay, so there is a one word, people. What is the people. meaning of that? People. People. It, here I'm not talking about people. Here I'm talking about pupil. Oh, people! I heard about that actually. It means a uh, student, I guess. Yes, it means students, or you can say that college going uh, or school going students, youngsters. Okay, youngsters. Okay. Yeah, okay. it's a synonym which we can use for them, right? Oh, yeah, nice word. Yeah. Actually, I forgot that 
now i just recalled it yeah you know every time you have to revise you know you just yeah, need yeah, a sure. method to revise it right absolutely, absolutely okay so what what do you understand by being an optimistic and being an uh, being a pessimistic person uh optimistic like who who has a lot of dream to fulfill who is like who is very serious mm-hmm. for his career and like for his life mm-hmm. and pessimistic like um, is it is totally opposite with the word optimistic uh, that is uh, there is no hope hopeless person mm mm-hmm. or you can also say that a person having negative thinking negative thoughts yes yeah true that's true negative so thoughts. what will be the disadvantages of being a, a pessimistic person uh, like you will be fulfilled with the negativity you will spread the negativity to the mm-hmm. other people so mm-hmm. that is wrong that is you can't spread the negativity you should be pessimistic i mean you should be optimistic so that mm-hmm. you can also set goals for your life you can go ahead mm-hmm. yeah exactly okay moreover there are uh, other types of people like extroverts and introverts you must you must have heard about that right yeah i have heard that yes yeah yes. and it is a very common statement some people say is that uh, you know extroverts are better leaders instead of introverts so what do you think this statement is correct or not Uh, i think that it depends on the personality of a man mm-hmm. so it will uh, it is always dependable uh, mm-hmm. i can't say that introvert can't lead anything or extrovert can lead in a supreme way so it is not correct that i think i'm not ag- i'm not agreed with this statement mm-hmm. so i think that uh, both can lead uh, in a supreme way or both can lead in a great way if they have such potential mm-hmm. or if they have such quality to lead the team mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. then you can do definitely yeah so you know when these type of topics comes uh, in front of you na you can always yeah. start it uh, with the line that it is a debatable topic debatable oh, topic debatable means like topic. yeah so when every point has two sides or as a coin mm. has two sides in the similar yeah. way uh people have different opinions according to them right mm. so a coin has two sides so you can explain both the sides either you can choose any one according to your thinking oh, okay. yeah right okay yeah 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 okay uh, okay indrajit which is your favorite sports uh favorite sports like uh cricket cricket is my favorite sport and also football okay who is your favorite cricketer uh i like ms dhoni the most okay any one uh, quality of ms dhoni that motivates you uh he is super super cool i think he is very calm in difficult situation to take decisions to take mm-hmm. a difficult situation he is very mm-hmm. calm so i like to be i like to have that quality like uh, calmness and also decision making power Mm-hmm. yeah that's a great thing and everyone is uh, you really appreciating ms dhoni a lot right absolutely yeah, yeah. there are a lot of fan yeah exactly okay so uh, indrajit what do you think about our environment now it is uh, it's very disheartening that our environment is getting depleted day by day due to lots of things happening around us like global warming and some other issues which are happening so what do you think about that like if uh, will not take care of these things what can be the consequences uh yes first of all nowadays we are cutting down a lot of trees like mm-hmm. we are doing deforestation mm-hmm. so that it uh, we are suffering from a uh, severe reasons like uh, there is i mean the pollution mm-hmm. and even it includes water pollution air pollution mm-hmm. but also we use a lot of vehicles mm-hmm. driven by petrol so it, it is very harmful i think for mm-hmm. the nature for the human being even for the animals so we need to like we need to what can i say we need to uh so we support. i think we, 
ha you can say that we need to support right yeah we need to support the uh, environment so that we can uh, get a better future yeah so we have to uh, produce a lot of technology driven like ev electronic vehicles we have to use and we have to produce that mm-hmm. and also we we don't cut down the mm-hmm. trees mhm we should not cut down the trees yeah. yeah exactly in this way we can at least help out in saving our at environment in, yeah to some content yeah you know nowadays the days are not similar as earlier right earlier what happen is like at right point of time summer starts and right point of time winter yeah. starts now this is not at all happening right absolutely it's not happening right mm-hmm. now Mm, yeah so it's a major concern right anyways mm. definitely will try our best to support these things right absolutely yeah and by which uh, i think that uh, if people are aware of this then they can definitely uh, do something mm-hmm. for the like affirmative way in mm-hmm. affirmative way so that they can help the nature they can help the environment mm-hmm. yeah have you ever noticed that nowadays people are uh, getting more and more aware about these environment related problems due to which you know they have started gifting plants to other people right instead yeah. of gifting other thing isn't it yeah yes yes uh, this is spreading that is very positive sign mm mm-hmm. it's a good people. good initiative isn't it absolutely absolutely yeah so if any person is giving plant to one person obviously he or she is taking care of that thing because it's a gift you know everyone mm. likes to take care of their gifts or the presents yeah i have i have seen even a lot of reels on it mm-hmm. yeah great thing okay so one word is wallflower wallflower what do you understand by that wallflower uh, i don't get it i don't Yeah, W A L L F L O W E R, wallflower. Okay, so uh, would you like to guess? Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so wallflower is a person like uh, who don't want to talk with someone, just sitting in one corner, and oh, don't okay. want to talk with anyone, and don't want to come in front of anyone. Okay. Like okay. you know, just uh, sitting at one corner and feeling shy. okay so something okay, like this okay i see like a very introvert you can yeah, say yeah very introvert you can say that okay, okay so okay. uh next is could you pl- please tell me little bit about that uh, what you uh, you know are doing to improve your conversation on daily basis or what you can suggest other people that how they can improve their conversation at least one way you can share uh what i practice that is you have to practice you have to take out 5 to 10 minutes from your uh, like busy schedule mm-hmm. though you are very busy mm-hmm. but you have to take out at least 10 minutes to talk mm-hmm. in english to practice in english so that you can like you will be consistent in practicing this and when you will be consistent in something then you will be master you will be expert in after few days or after few months mm-hmm. yeah okay some people think that it is a very easy thing like learning english is a very easy thing some people think that it's a very difficult thing you know they are just running behind learning english but they are not at all aware that what is the agenda and how this process begins right mm-hmm. so do you know that there are certain factors on the basis of which your communication skills uh, can be checked by anyone do you know yeah, that those definitely. factors uh definitely you need a mentor while practicing something especially a language like english you need a mentor or you need a tutor so that they can uh, correct you correct you mm-hmm. and you will be corrected always mm-hmm. so you will not do wrong practice so yeah. here i think that here comes experience plays a great role i think mm-hmm. it really helps me a lot to correct myself to practice and practice Mm-hmm. yeah so uh, what are those five factors i'm going to tell you those five factors are if anybody is working upon their communication skills so those five factors are number 1 like how fluent they are number 2 mm. grammatical errors grammatical yes. accuracy uh, accuracy third one is like vocabulary yeah. right fourth one is like uh, creative uh, thinking you can say that okay like okay. how well you can think how creative your thoughts are another one is thought structure right thought so structure. what happen is 
sometimes we notice that you know some people are talking and they are repeating their thoughts again and again like one thing they are repeating again and again right mm. so so for that they should learn that how to structure your thoughts properly right mm, absolutely if Correct. you are giving any talk if you are uh, giving any speech right always divide it into three parts beginning middle mm. and end right so okay. yes. when you divide you will not get confused and you know you have one focus that you know at the starting or the beginning i have to introduce the topic in the middle i have to give some mm. points or mention some points on those points can be 1.2.3 point or 4 at the max 5 points and at the end you will repeat all the things which you have discussed in nutshell right in summary mm -hmm. yeah yes, and that's summary. it yeah in this way audience will also get convinced by your thoughts that everything was very structured and we mm -hmm. understood everything absolutely correct yeah. yes, yes. so this uh, should uh, you know be followed if anybody yeah. is learning communication skill or to give a speech or becoming good public speaker or something good good really yeah. great yeah you can also apply this method okay sure, sure. and I'm... it will definitely help you definitely i yeah. will definitely try this yeah okay indrajit how did you like the session wow so much 515 <laughs> okay i hope you learn something new and uh, stay tuned for more such sessions will uh, again connect with you and till then sure. take care and bye bye thank you yeah you too bye 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 bye